Some animals come with a built-in weapon, the legendary stinger. And while some of those stings may be tiny, that doesn't mean they can't unleash a whole world of pain. These are the most painful animal stings you can experience. Number 20. Centipede Sting Now keeping on with the creepy crawlies, centipedes are creatures that are something that truly freak me out because of how long their bodies are, how many legs they have, and the fact that they just don't look right. Oh, and of course, you don't want them crawling on your face. But just as bad is that not only do they look creepy, they actually have a sting that's going to hurt for a long time. A centipede sting can cause pain, swelling, and redness at the sting site, and in most cases, symptoms go away within 48 hours. In some more serious cases, problems can actually occur. These include infection and breakdown of tissue and skin at the sting site. Allergic reactions can also occur depending on your immune system and such. And that breakdown of tissue and skin is something that no doubt will be even more painful than just the initial sting itself. And that's something that can't really be ignored. Some stings just give you pain, but others, like this one, can give you nasty side effects that linger on for some time or actually cause further issues. All the more reason to ensure that you don't get into trouble with some of these creatures. Sticking with the centipede though, if you do get stung by one, there are multiple methods that you can do in order to relieve the pain and get rid of the infection. There are certain paths you can take by yourself, or you can go to the hospital and have them treat it professionally. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Warrior Wasp Stings Now I'm going to be honest with you here, I hate wasps and bees, and really anything that actively tries to sting me. But when I hear that a wasp species has the name of warrior attached to it, I don't want to touch that thing with a 10-foot pole, which is a good idea because apparently these suckers really hurt people with their sting. If you've never heard of these particular wasps before, the reason for that is quite simple. That's because they typically reside in South and Central America in the tropical rainforests. So thus, if you're not near them, you're safe from their stings, which have been officially described as traumatically painful. Yikes! Just as crazy as that description is the man known as Justin Schmidt. He came up with a pain index scale for stings, then had various bugs actually sting him so that he could measure their stinging power. I guess he just had nothing better to do that day. When he did get bit by the warrior wasp, he labeled it as a 4 out of 4 on his scale and described the sting of the warrior as torture that you're chained in the flow of an active volcano. Mmm, that's quite the burn. The area around the sting swells and becomes taut as the body activates its own defense mechanisms to protect against the phenom. Feeling lightheaded and the body also gets hot. With pins and needles in the arm, that's just a small fraction of everything that you have to endure. Number 18. Stingray Sting what gets lost sometimes when we think about a stinging creature is that they can come from all walks of life, from the air, the ground, and in the waters in more active fashion than sea urchins that I talked about before. The best and sometimes perhaps most tragic example of that is the stingray. These are the thin, dish-like creatures that dwell in waters all over the world, and as they're one of the creatures of the deep that have the ability to endure both fresh and salt water, they can exist anywhere. 
A stingray's tail is long, thin, and tapered, much like a whip, and at the end of that tail are one or more barbed spines that are covered by a sheath. Each of those spines contains venom, and the stingray's tail can pack a powerful, incredibly painful sting. The catch is that while it can be painful, you shouldn't have to actively worry about it, because they typically only sting humans as a defense mechanism if they feel threatened, and they won't come after you if they see you, unlike say a wasp or a bee or even a shark. And yes, while sharks don't have stingers, could you imagine if they did? And while it's true that they may not intend to hurt humans, they have in the past, which includes being responsible for the death of legendary animal conservationist Steve Irwin. So remember him and honor him by not suffering the same fate. Number 17, Tarantula Hawk Sting. Okay, this is a creature that I want you to guess what it really is, because when you hear tarantula hawk, you're probably thinking of some kind of spider that's hawk-like, or another kind of creature that's meant to be sheer intimidation in terms of its presence. And you would be right, for the most part, because it's not a bird, or even a spider, it's a wasp, and they're parasitoid wasps, meaning that they use their sting to paralyze their prey and then use it as living food. That's right, that's a thing in the animal world, and it's something that really grosses me out a whole lot. There are a lot of things that you need to know about this bug, but arguably the most terrifying, outside of the living food bit, is that they're creatures with such big stingers that they often terrify most predators. Many animals won't even risk touching them. For real! Humans are not on their kill list, if you will, but if you do tick them off or even step on them, you're going to get their stinger. If you do get stung, you've had some bad luck, as the sting of the tarantula hawk wasp is rumored to be one of the most intense and painful stings of all insects, not a moniker that you want to find out the hard way about. Thankfully, the pain of the sting will wear off in a few moments, but that'll be a painful few moments, and the mark of the sting is going to remain for about a week. And no, you won't be turned into living food. Well, mostly. <laughs> Number 16. Harvester Ant Sting Ants are by and large one of the creatures that people get bit by the most, or stung by the most in this case. It's basically the same thing, to be clear. The reason for this is that sometimes you won't know that an ant is on you until it's there and they actually bite you, making it a bit too late for you to get them off. And if you do get bitten by a harvester ant, you're going to regret not having that prep time to get away. But why is that? Well, first and foremost, they can bite and or sting you multiple times, which is actually horrifying. What's more, they do tend to bite you first to hold itself into position, and then it's going to sting you afterwards, and it pivots in place. That's a clever technique. As it moves around, it'll continuously inject you with venom. As if that's not enough, these ants use their bites to emit pheromones to alert other ants to their position, and then summon their ant kin to go and bite their prey all at once in order to take it down. That is absolutely terrifying. In otherwise healthy adults, the pain from stings can last up to four hours with residual swelling and pain afterward, so thankfully for you, the horde won't come to sting you into oblivion, or at least I'm pretty sure it won't happen. Don't worry, I'm not going to laugh this time because I really honestly don't know. Number 15. Bullet Ant Sting Oh yeah, if I'm going to talk about the sting of an ant, I absolutely have to talk about the insect with the most powerful sting in the world, the bullet ant. These ants are incredibly special for a very painful reason. Their bites are said to feel like taking a bullet. Just think about that for a second. A bullet pierces your body, most times at incredibly high speeds, and sears and shreds everything in its path or shatters bones if it hits that. But now just imagine all of that from one little bite from a little tiny ant. And if you're not scared, you're just not clear on how dangerous the bite is. But don't worry, I'll tell you. Remember how on some of the previous stings that they were bad but could wear off in a few minutes or even soon enough afterwards? Well, that doesn't happen here. 
Bullet ant stings produce waves of agony that last anywhere from 12 to 24 hours, and again, that's just with one bite. Like the harvester ant before it, they too use their bites to communicate with other ants, all to try and do a swarm of stings on their foe. The irony here is that they don't actively go and seek people out to bite them. It's typically a defense mechanism, and one bite from them will show you that you always should be on the defense around them. Oh, and one more thing. In certain African tribes, they take these bullet ants, put them in makeshift gloves, and then put them on the hands of young teenage boys, all so that they can show their manhood by being bit by them for hours and staying alive. Now, if that's what it takes to be a man, I'll gladly stay a child forever. Number 14. Sea Urchin Stings I'll begin with a sting that won't affect everyone, depending on where you are in the world, but still, if you do get stung by them, you're going to absolutely know it. Sea urchins are very curious creatures when you think about it, because they're alive, but they're not exactly the most mobile creature in the world. They exist usually in one spot and are perfectly fine with that, and they do move via tiny feet that you're never likely to see, and that's a key thing right there, because they're creatures that can show up in spots that you least expect them to, and as a result, you may get stung. Now to be clear, they don't actively seek out trouble, but they have a perfect defense mechanism for when someone gets too close. They have very rounded bodies that have spines that point out in every direction, so no matter what what angle you interact with them on, you're going to get stung, and when you do, you're going to be in trouble. Most symptoms include sharp pain from the initial puncture, followed by swelling, redness, and infection. If the wound is deep enough, more severe symptoms can include shock, muscle aches, and breathing issues. Medical sources do indicate that pending on the level of these symptoms, though unlikely, urchin punctures could lead to death. But again, it's unlikely in most cases. So how do you take care of such a sting? Well, you do your best to remove all the barbs and then clean the wound. It's going to hurt for a while, but the barbs that you miss will eventually leave your foot on their own. Number 13. Velvet Ants Ah, this is another one of those weird names that doesn't actually describe what you're thinking. Because no, it's not about an ant, it's about another wasp. Now let's pause it right there. Why do these wasps get names of other animals instead of just calling them, you know, wasps? Aren't we supposed to be better than this? When it comes to what this velvet ant can do in terms of its stinging power, the answer is, a whole lot. The venom that velvet ants inject through their stinger has an unknown composition. According to one researcher, though, the painfulness of the sting of this bug outscored 58 other species of stinging insects. 58! Now that's a lot of competition that it actually beat out. One velvet ant that is commonly submitted for identification is what's known as the cow killer. The cow killer is the largest of all velvet ants in Kentucky, nearly an inch in length, and it earned its name by the reputation of the female sting. It's said that the sting is so painful that it could actually kill a cow. Yeah, you heard that right. There might honestly be an ant that can kill a cow. That's a little too much to process, if I can be honest with you. But that's honestly all the reason that you need not to screw with this thing, because humans are less bulky than cows, and thus you don't want to get bit by one of them. Just keep moving along. Number 12. Goliath Bird Eating Spider Stinks now let's move on to spiders, because most of you know that there are plenty of spiders out there that have a bite or sting that is able to kill a human quite easily, or at the very least, easily enough if anti-venom isn't given to the person quick enough. They do carry venom in their fangs and have been known to bite humans when threatened, but the venom, well, it just causes swelling and mild pain for a few hours, just like a wasp sting. Tarantula bites to humans are usually in self-defense and don't always contain a spider venom, so more than likely if you do get bit by one, you're not going to be in any kind of immediate danger, though again, this isn't something that you'd likely want to risk or test out.
The real sting of this bird-eating spider comes from its hair. That's right. You see, as a defense mechanism, it has the ability to flick hairs at anything that it considers to be a danger to itself, and yes, that includes people. The hairs are tiny and able to irritate our skin pretty badly, and that's something to keep in mind, because if it were to get into places like your eyes or your nose or even into your mouth, it could be pretty bad for you for a long while. Oh, and I've probably forgotten to mention the other problem with these things. They're huge! They're almost a foot in size. And when you include their legs, well, you can just run away as fast as you can if you see one. Number 11. Bark Scorpions Sting now, you may be surprised that it took me long enough to get to scorpions, but there's a reason for that. It's because scorpions are legendary for their stings and how painful they can be, but there are others that deserve credit for their own painful bites. But when it comes to the bark scorpion, they definitely deserve their own entry for what they can do. You see, they're small scorpions, but they're also deadly especially in certain parts of the world. Arizona bark scorpions are considered the most venomous species of scorpion in the United States, a very big moniker to give to this scorpion. But when you hear what this sting can actually do to you, you'll probably never go to Arizona again. Common symptoms include severe pain at and near the site of the sting, numbness or tingling in the affected area, muscle immobility, twitching or convulsions, and difficulty breathing and or rapid breathing, along with vomiting and nausea. You are very welcome. Some of these are truly bad to experience no matter how tough you are. Think about some of these for a moment. Just imagine getting a sting and then all of a sudden, you can't move your arm, or you fall to the ground and your body begins to convulse in ways that you can't stop. Does that make you feel like you want to test out this scorpion sting? Well, I didn't think so. So for now, I pity all of you who live in Arizona and have to deal with this thing on the regular. Number 10. Jellyfish Stings now, if I'm going to be flat out honest with you for a bit, I could have filled a lot of this list just talking about jellyfish because there are a lot of them out there and they can harm you in a variety of ways. And as a result, you have a lot to look out for. But I'll be fair and just lump them all together so that we can terrify you all at once. Aren't you so lucky? Because you no doubt know that a jellyfish can sting you and that it can hurt a lot. And most often, they result in immediate pain with redness, irritated marks on the skin, and more. And some of these jellyfish stings may cause more whole body systemic illness. And in the rare case, they're life threatening. That's actually one of the biggest factors that I need to mention here. So what you gotta do is you gotta put it in your mouth like this, all right, and just breathe it in because out of the looks of many jellyfish, it can be hard to tell which ones are going to hurt you and which ones can kill you. And thus the most important thing to remember that is if you see a jellyfish, let alone many jellyfish, just leave them alone. For example, in Australia, there are a whole bunch of beaches that are risky to human life because of the infamous box jellyfish. That's a creature that can absolutely murder you with a single sting, and that's happened a lot in the past. Then there are those, like the lion's mane jellyfish, that have stinging tentacles that are hundreds of feet long and can actually detach one of its stingers and just let it float around in the water until it connects with you and stings you without even being attached. So yes, jellyfish stings, they suck, period. They hurt, they can kill, so do us all a favor and stay away. Number 9. Starfish Stings now, believe it or not, I'm going to be talking about a few different starfish in the next couple of entries, but this one might confuse you because you may have thought that the only dangerous starfish out there in the world was Starro the Conqueror, and he was killed by the Suicide Squad recently. In fact, though, while starfish may seem harmless at first, there are a few species out there that have a venom that can be very harmful to humans, one of which is the Sunstar starfish. What an absolute dumb name. 
Starfish don't attack humans, that is unless it's Starro, but can inflict painful stings with the release of venom when they are accidentally stepped upon or handled, meaning picked up, and it's mainly the deep sea divers who are at risk so that means that many of you likely won't feel its sting. Just to be clear though, certain starfish stings will require medical attention, so be mindful of that in case you encounter one and you get its venom inside of you. Number 8. Lionfish Stings if a lion is the king of a jungle, would a lionfish be the king of the sea? I'll ask Aquaman later. But regardless of its title, we can tell you that while this fish may be pretty to look at, it's a pain in the butt to get stung by. It's unbelievable! Lionfish are known for their venomous fin rays, an uncommon feature among reef-dwelling fish along the American East Coast and Caribbean. The potency of their venom makes them excellent predators and hazardous to fishermen and divers. In humans, the venom can cause systemic effects such as extreme pain, nausea, vomiting, fever, breathing difficulties, convulsions, dizziness, redness on the affected area, headache, numbness. Oh, it just goes on and on, which includes paresthesia, that's pins and needles, heartburn, diarrhea, and sweating. Mmm, what a combination. Rarely such things can cause temporary paralysis of the limbs, along with heart failure and even, of course, death. That's a lot, and it's a whole lot of reasons to just straight up avoid this fish at all costs. Number 7. Crown of Thorns Starfish I told you there'd be another starfish on the list, and as a side note, if there isn't a fantasy or sci-fi series called Crown of Thorns, I'm going to be very disappointed. Unlike most starfish, which look non-threatening almost all the time, the Crown of Thorns starfish is one that honestly does look intimidating because of how it has spines that project from its body and can be used to deter predators. Starfish out, physically inject every arm to actually do any good. Also, unlike most starfish, they're incredibly aggressive, and they'll even swarm coral reefs in large numbers that destroy the reefs and thus cause major damage to the ecosystem. Going back to the sting though, the barbs on its body do have venom, and reactions to a crown of thorn starfish spike can vary considerably amongst people, ranging from localized pain and swelling at the puncture site to severe anaphylactic shock. Now you'll want to have medication on hand, all in case one of them decides to stick you. Number 6. Nile Monitor Lizard to be clear, this is another animal that's more about biting than stinging, but trust me when I say that if you do get bit or stung by this lizard, it's going to hurt. However, here's a few facts. These are huge lizards, known for their muscular bodies as well as their voracious attitudes, a very bad mixture if you're one of the things that it likes to attack. A bite from any species of monitor lizard can be downright painful. They're actually known to crush bones in humans. These are dangerous for skin, bone, and surrounding tissues, and these lizards have a poisonous bite. However, the venom is not fatal for humans. That all being said, the pain is immense, and the venom can cause you to become very sick if you're not careful. Thankfully though, for most, you won't have to deal with this lizard if you're not in certain parts of Africa. Number 5. Scorpion Fish Stings Yes, there's a fish known as the scorpion fish, and as you can probably guess, it has a sting that is none too pleasant to feel. Not so fun fact, there used to be an ancient species of scorpions in the waters of the world that were said to be 9 feet long. Thankfully they're all dead now, but this scorpion fish isn't with them. The scorpion fish is a venomous fish that blends in well amongst the coral reefs. The fish is covered in prickly spines that can carry highly toxic venom. Not unlike many others on my list, this is not a fish that's known to attack humans, but like sea urchins, if touched, their barbs will do all the attacking necessary to defend themselves. What's more, their venom is actually so potent that the pain of the sting is said to last for many hours, and then where you got stung, you'll end up with a rash, and rashes suck as well. Number 4. Killer Bees 
Now if you look at the world of bees, we can all agree that a sting from pretty much any species is going to be bad. The problem though is that some people are allergic to such stings and can die from a single one. Thankfully though, that's a rare occurrence. However, there are species that are known as the Africanized honeybee, which have been given the very apt nickname of killer bee for one very specific reason. If they wanted to sting you, they'll do it until you're dead. But why is that? Well, it's because if they're threatened, they'll get extremely aggressive, and it won't just be one bee that you'll be dealing with, but an entire dang swarm. For example, a man in Texas was killed when he drove over a hive of killer bees on accident, and they swarmed him and literally stung him to death. The two women that tried to save him were also attacked, though they survived, but they had 100 sting marks apiece for their efforts. So yes, these bees will kill you, and there's more than one story to back that up. Number three, yellow jacket wasp sting. And back to the wasps we go. This time though, I'm talking about a very specific kind of wasp known as the yellow jacket. Because of their looks, they're often confused with bees, but they're very different, including just how painful their stings can be. A big reason for that is a regular bee can only sting you once and then it dies right afterwards, but a yellow jacket, well, it can sting you multiple times without a whole lot of issues, thus ensuring that your pain continues on a much grander scale. Now, you may also experience inflammation or redness around the sting for a few hours after being stung, and that will also include and come with fatigue, itching, and warmth around the injection site. Oh, and there are other symptoms that you can get, some so dramatic that you'll need medical attention. So now imagine if a swarm of yellow jackets got to you. Number two, rove beetle stings. It's perfectly fine if you've never heard of the rove beetle. After all, it's not the most common beetle in the world today, but it's one that has a trick up its sleeve that puts a whole new meaning on the word sting. Because in the traditional sense, it doesn't really sting or even bite you. Rather, it has a special toxin in its blood. And should you, oh, squash it when it's on you, that's blood that can actually absorb into your pores and your skin. Think of it as a beetle's revenge. Now, if you do get this blood in you, you'll get reddening of the skin along with a burning sensation, as well as painful irritation and itching. This will also end up resulting in a lot of blisters and other gross stuff on your skin after about four days, all of which is extremely disgusting. But wait, there's more. The affected areas remain irritated, blistered, and sore for 10 days, and toxin on the hands or exposure near body joints can actually spread it to other areas of the body. Think of it as poison ivy. If you're not careful, it's just going to get everywhere. That's a pretty good revenge plot, wouldn't you say? Number one, the fire ant. While it's true that other ants, like bullet ants, have incredibly painful stings, the tale of the fire ant is one that many people actually know. Because unlike other ants that I've mentioned, these guys are aggressive and they'll never be afraid to bite you if they're ticked off. As you can guess by their name, fire ants are infamous for having bites that make your skin feel like it's on fire, plus they'll actually attack in swarms, so you'll basically be burning inside and out from their bites. Plus, they're not exactly afraid to sting you multiple times and race up your legs and into your shorts before you even notice that they're there. Just as bad, and not unlike certain bees, some people are incredibly allergic to their bites. So you should do the right thing and just make sure that you never get too close to their nests. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Which of these stings do you personally never want to feel, given about how painful and downright deadly they can be? Or have you honestly felt one of these creatures sting you in the past? Do you know of other animals whose sting that I should have talked about? Let me know in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.